Well, good afternoon, good evening, good night, good day, good morning, whatever the case may be. Happy New Year to one and all. This is Birdman here. Today I'm going to do a video on one of my favourite mods that I picked up last year. It is the Infinite Mods Axis. This is the packaging that it comes in. I did purchase this. This is out of my own collection. And let's uh, take a look inside. This is the packaging that it comes in. You know, your, your typical small pelican case. Nice and secure. Kept in padded box. Beautiful. There is no COA or anything like that. It is used, it is not a new device. So all the scratching is from me, putting on atomizers as you can see. A bit of scratching on the top. It is a full hybrid connection, so please bear that in mind. Your 510 on your atomizer must be long enough to accommodate. I do believe uh, there was only 50 of these made, and as you can see, is in the shape of a vertebrae, as in the same on the picture on the front of the box. It was inspired by the maker's neck surgery that he had to have. Full copper firing bar. Allen key screws that screw the firing bar into the into the top part of the mod. There is really the only reason you would need to unscrew that is if you wanted to clean right behind it other than that it breaks down far enough without the use of any tools to uh, maintain and keep your mod in uh, tip top shape as we spin it around engraving on the bottom axis number 047 let's see the camera's going to pick that up nicely uh, bring it up there you go Axis 047, that thumbprint is from me. That is your contact pin. I said it's full cop. This version is full copper. Your contact, your firing bar makes contact through there, like so. That's it. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Like I said, it works an absolute treat. So we'll strip it all apart so you can see it. It's going to have fingerprints all over it now because I did polish it up before I started. So let's have a strip down. So they come completely comes to comes apart. It is a sexy bit of gear, as you can see in there. It is for advanced users only. This does not have any protection whatsoever. So please bear that in mind if you purchase one of these. Your plastic, uh, your Delrin pieces come out, all completely strips down. Like I said, for maintenance and cleaning. Do appreciate the fact that I did spend probably the best part of 45 minutes cleaning this. As you can see in there, full hybrid connection, absolutely no protection whatsoever. So your battery wraps must be in tip top shape. So, like I said, full copper, absolutely high class. Beautiful bit of gear. Like I said, any marks on this is from me. This was flawless. Like I said, this is out of my own personal collection. So, um, to reassemble, just reversed. Well, actually, before I do that, I'll just show you. Like I said, your 510 pin on your atomizer. Protrude through far enough. And you can see when you thread it together. You can see it sticking through there. Let me cover that up. I'm going to get some focus here, Harry. Come on. Ah, there we go. Maybe not. Come on, Harry. Concentrate. Nah. Maybe I shouldn't have them on there. Probably distracting it. say so I'm no expert but there's your firing pin protruding oh sorry your 510 pin protruding through 
I am using the Asgard on top of this because I can play the absolute matchy match game with this, have it on point. So you put one piece back on. Oop, fat fingers, two piece back on. Three piece back on. Four piece back on. This is your contact point. It's also how you adjust your battery rattle. It is a 21700 mechanical mod. So you must know your Ohm's law. Again, it is a full copper contact. That's dirt from me. Been a bit of a slack ass not cleaning that bit properly. Nice and thick and hefty contact. I do know that you can get solid silver contacts for these um, from infinite mods, which eventually I will end up getting. So we just spin that round like so. And once you put your battery in, your atomizer on, your, your battery in, you can adjust accordingly. All right, so put your battery in. It doesn't matter where you break it, just put it through there. There is venting straight through your, your contact for your, any, in the case of any malfunction. There is venting. Now just bear in mind people that I have not juiced up this atomizer yet. So you just wind it in. I just use my thumbnail. It's all it needs. So I put some juice on it. Franken Atticus. Peppermint white chocolate cookie. Works sensational in the Asgard. And look, I'll just soak some of that up. I'd already pre-checked these coils before filming. And that way, it doesn't matter what resistance I run because you lot don't see it. It's zero point none of your biz. And look at that for matchy match on point. Sexy as. Uh, I'll just put some more in there just to make sure because I definitely do not want a dry hit. And I love the Asgo because you can just drip straight down the guts of it. Let that soak and all that soaks. I'll spin the camera around and confuse the fuck out of everyone. Anyway, like I said, I don't do jump cuts. I don't do edits. So here we go. Just... Spin you lot around straight back up like so. And then I've got to spin the camera around because I'll guarantee that that is facing the wrong bloody way. And I guarantee I'll fuck it up somewhere along the line. And there we go. Alright. Get rid of them. Hopefully it's juiced up and up now. Yeah, I'm kidding. I know it's juiced up enough now. Yeah. See? Have a two. Banging. Like I said, super conductive, being all full copper. Looks sexy as hell. You know, uh, Oscar had to go through major surgery on his spine, or on his neck actually, and that's why... He come up with this design. I think it's one of the most beautiful mech mods ever to come out of Mexico or out of the world, personally. Um, I like side fires. I like all mechs. Who am I kidding? But the side fire on this is very simple. It's not a hard press. It's quite an easy instance firing. The um, There is no safety on it. There's no lock. There's no... Um, way of stopping it from firing so you would not definitely would not put this one in your pocket uh it's quite a heavy mod but i don't take my mech mods out my mech mods are for home use i don't that way i keep them in the best condition possible um yeah it's just one of those things that's what i do um i do have a couple of what i would call workhorse mech mods that you know if they get banged up 
they haven't cost me the earth. They, um, they're pretty robust types anyway. But I hope you've enjoyed me showing you this as much as I enjoy bringing it to you. It's only a short, short video. Like I said, it's not a complicated mod, but it performs flawlessly, as do all my infinite mods. I own three, um, and I recommend them highly. Would I, if I lost it, got stolen, whatever, would I try and source one again? Absolutely so. It is one of my more prized collection, more prized mods in my collection. Anyway, Happy New Year to all. Thank you, take care, look after each other, and don't forget to advocate. All the best, thanks for watching. Bye.